Hi guys. So for today's reading, this is going to be a message that you need to hear right now from your guides, your ancestors, the divine, um, a message that will help you on your journey, on your path. In some way, you have been looking for something to fill the gaps, and here it is. So we have four piles here, one, two, three, and four. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition, your higher self, and pick the pile you feel most drawn to. I just want to let you guys know that I am so grateful for everyone who is here to watch this channel and to support me on my journey and also to trust in me to help guide you on your journey as well. I really do appreciate that and if you enjoy this video please like, share, and subscribe so I can continue to spread these messages to other people and I hope to see you guys at my next reading as well. So let's get started with pile one. So for pile one, I feel like you have been hurt emotionally in some way and you're working very hard. It's been a long journey to heal your heart. I feel like you are somebody who's very kind, very protective, very loving, somebody who always tries to do the right thing, somebody who's very protective of your loved ones. You are somebody who, um, there's going to be a win-win situation going on for you, I feel like as well, a super win. We also have the number 358. There's going to be a super win for you. You are somebody who gives it your all. You put in 100% to any situation that you are focused on, especially when it comes to helping children, I feel like, as well. You're somebody who may be coming into a lot of money as well for the things that you've been doing. You're somebody who communicates from a very stable, strong, solid, self-confident place. And you're somebody who communicates with a lot of purity. You have a lot of purity hidden down within you. You have a lot of spirituality within you. And I feel like you are going to be expressing yourself more and if you haven't been expressing yourself so fully it's time to start opening up and doing so because sometimes the past hurt and pain can keep us from seeing the oh I just seen dust too it can keep us from seeing what's right in front of us all the good things and when I saw the word dust the song dust in the wind came through my mind dust in the wind all we are is dust in the wind. So, you could also be realizing that it's, uh, there is a whole collective out there as well that you can connect to, things like that. Let's see, we have Q U C T Y A B V F S T A. Z, D, D, Z. Um, we have almost quack, almost equate, at, bat. So you're at bat right now, and you may have some wounds from the past. Um, we also have, I almost saw tug, but it's a C, cat. So cats could be really important to you right now as well. We have fat, fat cat. <laughs> um, you may be having a problem with eating a little extra because of the emotional upset you have going on now. So working to heal your emotions can help you to get back to a better diet, whatever kind of, whatever your diet is looking like. We also have CAD, bad. So there might have been some person that really just made you feel bad about yourself, some CAD that came in and made you feel bad about yourself, made you feel sad, broke your heart. Um, fad. You might realize that this person was just a fad. You may even be doing some really crash fad diets. And that's not good for you either. If you're eating too much or not eating enough because of somebody else and the pain they caused you, take a minute to examine what's going on within your own emotional realm and try to remember that hurting yourself is not a good way to go when it comes to getting back at people. The best way to go is to win. Through winning, it kind of levels you up and you move on and you're the one who comes out ahead in that way. You know, if somebody was trying to win with you and it was a competition of some sort. So we have the walk away. <clears throat> the walk away. 
You only cause me hurt and pain. With you, there is no gain. I have to walk away from here. No more room in my life for fear. It's time to let the past die. No more can my heart live with this lie. I'm far... I'm worth far more than you can give. It's time now for me to truly live. Breaking out of my shell today, on my knees, head bowed to pray. I know I'm protected on this path. I no longer fear your wrath. So, there could be somebody in the past that really caused you a lot of self-worth issues, self-esteem issues, and somebody who really made you fear that in walking away from them, you would somehow be hurt. And it's time to walk away from this person now because with this person there is only pain and you have nothing left to gain here. You've learned the lessons. Now it's time to put them to use and it's time to see the new beginnings that could be in front of you if you weren't so focused on the past pain that has happened. I'm going to read that one more time. You only cause me hurt and pain. With you, there is no gain. I have to walk away from here. No more room in my life for fear. It's time to let the past die. No more can my heart live with this lie. I'm worth far more than you can give. It's time now for me to truly live. Breaking out of my shell today, on my knees, head bowed to pray. I know I'm protected on this path. I no longer fear your wrath. It could have even been a parent that made you feel like you couldn't express your truth in some way. Somebody made you feel like it would be bad to just be you and to do what you're doing. My kids are safe and protected. I love them and they love me. People have tried to pull us apart, but our connection is so strong it can never be severed. They love me no matter who I am or what I am going through, and vice versa. I need to heal to get back on my feet so I can be there for them fully again. So, you also may have been feeling like if you walked away from this person, somehow you would lose your kids. If that resonates with you and just know that your children are safe and protected and no matter what you're going through or where you're at, they will love you and they will love you for making the choices that are good for you. My own daughter told me about a month ago that I needed to make the choices that were right for me, even if it did hurt and the choices that can better my life so that I can be there more fully for them so that they can really see me as well do that because when you lead by example and show your children how to do the things that are best for them that's what they're going to do in their life too so we have perseverance it seems that you're on a massive journey right now and this card has arrived to, arrived to remind you that you will reach the other side the mountain that you are climbing is huge and formidable but so is your ability to climb it you don't need to enjoy it you just need to tackle it complain if it makes the job easier blow off steam you think mountain climbers get to the top of everest on inspirational quotes no way they're grunting and crying and cursing like freaking pirates that just doesn't sell a lot of posters and I'll throw this out there too. You know what? Sometimes they're crying as well. I actually had a moment of crying inside the gas station this last year myself because of everything that I was going through and it was just like the last straw got laid on top of it and I started bawling in the middle of the gas station. It happens sometimes to everyone and feeling overwhelmed is a normal thing but it's what you do in those moments that matters the most you are somebody very strong you have a very deep sense or a very deep inner strength you deserve to have somebody who is in your life that is solid stable reliable somebody that makes you feel safe and secure not somebody who makes you feel like you're standing on a precipice ready to fall off and they're never going to be there to catch you but somebody who would actually take a bullet for you and in hanging on to the people who treat you like you're just an option and you don't really matter you are foregoing any chance of being with somebody who is better for you oregano i am right true statement I am open to the unknown. You are being shown what is dissonant in your life. Allow the beliefs that are not serving you to fall away and be open to your bright future. Trigger. I have nothing left. Tension. True statement. I nurture myself. So if you're feeling like you have nothing left, that's what is causing the tension in your life. It's time to nurture yourself and take care of you. Dear one, it's time to settle. Create a sacred space where you can be in, in a place of rest and healing, or in a place of rest, healing will unfold. So go somewhere where you feel safe, where you feel good, where you feel like you can just be yourself and you can go through what you need to go through. Taking care of you will help to take care of your children too. So we have the two of wands, we have the devil, we have nine of fire, and we have three of air. So you're feeling very defensive against something, 
against someone because of the heartbreak that you've been through, it's time to look in the mirror and see what's triggering your defensiveness to see what is causing you to jump into this state of feeling like you have to fight. Um, and to also know that you have been through so much and you are still standing here strong today. And you, ha you can overcome these things. All it takes is t putting these plans into action. You see what you need to do. It's time to take the action to back up the words, to back up how you're feeling, to back up not overspending or not uh, overeating, not under eating, things like that to um, avoid your feelings. You may be running away from your feelings into some sort of other addictions. And it's time to see what those addictions are, see what those triggers are, and to deal with the heartbreak that is behind it so that you can continue forward. And know that this cycle is almost at an end. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Keep your eyes on that light. Keep yourself hopeful and follow your path where it leads you with faith and trust that you are not alone in this journey. So that's what I have for this pile. And I really would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Let us know what you're going through. There may be other people here who are going through the same thing who might be able to help you. I might be able to help you. Um, it's, it's a very, oh, what was, <laughs> what is it? Nobody knows who is saying what they're saying in the comments. I can't think of the word for that right now. If you know what it is, let me know. <laughs> I'll probably remember by then. <laughs> um, but nobody knows who Anonymous is saying what they're saying in the comments. And uh, I would love to hear what you have to say. And everyone needs to be able to vent and get out what they need to get out. Sometimes that helps us put closure to it. So let me know what's going on with you guys. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile two. So for pile two, there may be some sort of magic that's going on here where some sort of frog is turning into a prince. <laughs> um, somebody may be plagued with a lot of indecision. Somebody may be causing a lot of indecision for you. There could even be somebody who is a frog when you think they're a prince around you as well. Just remember to listen to your own intuition on that. Know that all of the things that you have been working on so passionately, so fiercely to protect, to fight for, to bring into being, to manifest into your life, all of it is happening for you right now. You just have to trust and have faith. Rely on your spirituality. Rely on your beliefs and believe in them fully. Your imagination is everything. Your imagination can create whatever you desire into your reality. So stop being indecisive and know that whatever you put your mind to and whatever you put your intentions towards will be able to manifest into being. We also have random act of kindness. So there could be some people in your life that are going to be doing random acts of kindness. And you might be a little indecisive on what the reasoning behind those random acts are. So remember to listen to your intuition. Remember to find your peace. Get to a space where you feel good so that you're not facing indecision between heart or between head and mind or mind and heart. And instead you're listening to your intuition to guide you. We have PQ, mind your P's and Q's, mind your manners. HP. Oh, well, computer. There could be something with a computer. W, Y, L. W O M U M V V F. So we have foul, like a bird, not like, oh no, there's a foul smell too. So there could be a foul smell going on. You might smell some things up when, and listen to those gut instincts. So there's a lot in this pile about listening to your gut instincts. You know what's true. Watch the birds as well because fowl like a bird was in there too. And birds could be bringing you some very big answers right now to a lot of the things you're facing. So pay attention to the messages that those are bringing you. Let's see. Red winged blackbirds are about polyamorous things. Um, regular blackbirds are about monogamous things. Red cardinals are about messages from lost loved ones and messages from the spiritual realm. And crows are about transformation as well as 
not being alone and intelligence and also remembering what others have done for you and repaying those favors, but also knowing that others are going to remember what you have done for them and repay those favors as well. We have pow, we have how, we have mum, mom, we have almost full, almost tall, um, owl, owls. So owls are about wisdom, clarity, um, clear cognizance as well, a clear knowing, you know, you have a lot of great insight as well to be spreading. We have vow, we have That's what I got. So let's see what else we got in your messages here. It took a long time for the charms and the letters on this one. Let's see. I feel slow, so alone in this world. I don't know what to do or where to turn. My whole life was stolen from me and everyone was turned against me. I'm not sure how to start from here or who I can trust. So if you feel you would resonate with pile one. You may want to watch that as well. Pile one is going through a lot where they're leaving a lover and they may have children as well. And they are feeling very alone in this world. But anyway, you're feeling very alone in this world. You really don't know where to turn, what to do. Um, this is a time for faith. This is a time for trusting your intuition. This is a time for prayer. The darkness comes so that you can see the light. And the darkness also comes so that you can face that darkness and see how strong you really are. You are never alone. Um, oh, there's a song with a raven or a crow. I'm sending out a message. So far from home. Please net, let me know that I'm not out here alone. Something like that. If you know the lyrics or the song, let us know in the comments. So, we also have, Your creativities and ideas are a gift worth cherishing and nurturing. Keep expanding your imagination and connecting to your inner child. That's what this lovely little unicorn is about, especially since it came from a birthday cupcake anyway you could create a great work of art whether it be music painting drawing or any other creation you are an artist believe in you and stop limiting yourself and your creations so it's time to let yourself go let yourself off the leash Ooh, freak on a leash good song go listen to it jacob lee conscience good song as well i'm getting a lot of songs for this pile you must really love music in this pile but jacob lee conscience talks about how you wouldn't think these things up if it wasn't meant to be. There is a reason that these thoughts were put inside of you, that these creations were put inside of you, and it's time to start creating them. It's time to let yourself freely create. Freak on a Leash talks about feeling like you're stuck on a leash and like others are trying to hold you back, hold you down, and you need to break out. It's time to let that side of yourself that you feel so ashamed of out and to stop holding it back thinking that it's such a bad thing because it isn't. I wish I could stop your tears. When I was with you, I'd try so hard. Sometimes I could. Other times you would hold me tight and just cry, but it seemed to help, so I stayed. Please don't cry. I love you so much. So, this could be from a pet as well because I'm pretty sure I wrote this for one of the pet readings that I did, but... There is someone here that has really tried to stop your tears to make you feel like you are good enough, to make you feel like you are worthy, to make you feel like you are amazing. And I feel like you've just been trapped in this I'm alone energy for so long. I don't regret my past because it makes my future. You are finally releasing the past. Forgiveness and letting go are true blessings. After holding on and drawing in the poison it created for so long, you are on the other. You are on the right path. Keep go keep going. No turning back now. You will be able to handle the triggers with grace and dignity. You have learned so much, especially in self-love and self-esteem. So it's time to believe in everything that you have learned and it's time to be okay with others seeing you. I feel like you're somebody who has been invisible for so long and it's time to be visible. It's time to be seen and it's time to be okay with that and not uncomfortable with it. No one listens to me. Trigger statement, spearmint, true statement. My voice is heard. Stand strong and communicate your message. The world is ready to receive what you have and to share. 
or have to share. Step into your power. Step into your courage. Step into your boldness. Step into your authenticity. It is time to be the leader that you wish you had in your life. It is time to show others how to be your true authentic self and how to walk in the light, even when you feel like you are in darkness alone. Confidence. Once again, about the confidence. Same with that lion energy. In this moment, I take a step back and look at myself with the pride of a good mother. I see abundance of abilities and talents that show up all the time in big and little ways. If I could stick myself on a refrigerator, I would. I would invite all the neighbors over and say, look at that. Can you believe what an A plus that is? I believe in magic. I see evidence of it all the time. And though the tricks can probably be explained away by something sensible and ordinary, I'd rather not ruin the fun. Other people can fill their days with mere coincidence. I'll fill mine with, holy crap, that's unbelievable. So it's time to have confidence and to believe in what you really see as true. Believe in your spirituality, believe in your gifts, believe in your talents, and know that even if nobody else believes it, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you do. You are manifesting beautiful abundance into your life by seeing your true value and your true worth because you have been on this massive journey and you're so wise. You really have a lot of wisdom within you. You know just how much you are worth. You know just how much abundance and fertility you bring into the lives of people around you. You are somebody loyal, committed, solid, stable, strong. Somebody who really does deserve to have that in your life as well. You are very nurturing, grounded, and just connected to nature as well. And you really do deserve to be able to bring in everything you desire on the physical realm. So allow yourself to bring it in. Allow yourself to go within and see that light. You are this teacher. You can teach others how to believe in themselves and love themselves and see themselves as worthy so they can manifest this abundance into their life as well. I feel like you may be a life coach of some sort in this pile. So that's what I have for this pile. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you have to say about it. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.